The charrette is a design challenge where in a small span of time people come together to present their greatest design ideas. The difference is with Salvadori, we do it with children and we do it with a hundred of them. We draw a line and then we show where we start and end. We bring in professional engineers, architects and designers to help gather all their great ideas so that in about five hours they come up with a design that they can present to the entire room. Like maybe a track around the hall. This year, we've decided to make our design challenge the redesign of Times Square as a pedestrian mall. So this will be West 46. And we've given children the opportunity to throw in all their ideas for a one block stretch of that pedestrian mall. Is it a place we want people to live? Not maybe really. It is. Maybe it is, really but let's valid. talk about it. The first thing that is done is brainstorming. And the kids throw in all their big ideas, and the volunteers typically help them organize their thoughts. What would you want to change? Are there not enough fun things to do, or are there a lot of fun things there? Cafe over here. I think, I think that, that area would be big enough. From there, the students start to get more of a sense of what's feasible. You know, what can we actually fit into this space? What should stay? What should go? Now, that's a big thing about architects and engineering. I want to know what you're going to do first. Who likes to draw? At that point, also, they'll break out some tracing paper, lay it over their footprint that they're working on, and start to sketch and do some layout. And of course, all of this is done to scale. This is an inch. Life. But on here, this is six feet. So they can't just make a giant sculpture in the middle of the park and not recognize how it fits with other things. You can start to think about how you can get people from her theater to your plaza and how you can get people from her plaza to your theater. After they do their first rendering, they are given access to a variety of materials. And that's where they can get creative about how they want to represent these structures using pipe cleaners, a variety of paper, other random goodies we collect over the year, egg cartons, coffee cans, anything that they want to use. And they slowly build the model. And this usually takes a good two or three hours. What's going to happen is cables will have to come from a tower to support the bridge. Culminating uh, in a time where they have to then present it to everyone that's in the room. I think we're good. So they have to finalize it and polish it up and then be ready to say a thing or two about their structure and the choices they made. This is the, um, the list we made with our group to decide how to make this work. We built a park called Greener Park. We took out all the roads and made bike paths. Kids get a number of experiences. They're thrown into groups with people they don't necessarily know, and they have to learn how to be democratic and cooperative, listen to one another, work together. I think we should have the carnival because it's going to take up a lot of space. They also get the opportunity to interact with professionals in the fields that we represent. Many kids have never met a real-life engineer or an architect, so here they get to ask questions and, and hear how engineers think and work together. And then we just need to ask that. The other thing is, is that they get the opportunity to apply knowledge that they've gained throughout the course of their school year if they have, in fact, been working with Salvadori. So they can take experiences they've had for eight weeks, 12 weeks, 20 weeks, and then throw it all in there for a five-hour period.